In the South, secede from the Union just because Abraham Lincoln had just gotten elected. What was it about him or his election that drove the South to the point of desperation in the form of secession from the Union? You've got to consider that slavery equals imprisonment and so each plantation is a individual prison. Consider what a prison needs. Um, you've got to have uh, walls that are uh, not easily climbed. Uh, you've got to have uh, guard towers with guards with uh, rifles to shoot any prisoners trying to climb the walls. That's what uh, is uh, required uh, of modern prisons. Walls and, and uh, uh, guard towers. And But consider what each uh, southern plantation was. Uh, they did have uh, walls uh, enclosing the cabins that the uh, black slaves lived in. But these walls were not uh, insurmountable. Uh, ladders could be, uh, reach the top of the walls and uh, um, prisoners, I mean uh, inmates, uh, I mean uh, the slaves uh, were able to uh, climb those walls if necessary or dig holes uh, beneath the walls. Long story short, uh, southern plantations were prisons without the prison walls or fences that uh, are required to make a prison uh, secure. Now, uh, the uh, American uh, black slaves did not typically uh, try to escape and uh, go north. Now, why was that? Because of family. They had family members. Uh, or they didn't know that uh, what uh, life in the north would be like. The north uh, was uh, much colder than the south in winter, and uh, uh, African slaves uh, coming from Africa or having an ancestry uh, from Africa uh, did not uh, appreciate uh, colder climates. Uh, uh, the North represented the unknown and uh, uh, anyway the, the slaves simply uh, did not um, easily make a decision to go north especially slaves in the deep deep south like Mississippi as opposed to uh, border states like Maryland. Uh, Maryland was a slave state uh, bordering the non-slave states of the North. But uh, the idea is that the southern plantation owners realized that just because their slaves had not typically um, tried to escape uh, up until Lincoln's election, that did not uh, mean that they might not try to escape now that 
a totally different kind of president had been elected. There never had been an American president as anti-slavery as uh, Lincoln was. You've got to consider also uh, the effect of John Brown on the South. Here you have a man who came into the South with uh, rifles that he had uh, stolen from or, or stolen from the armory uh, at um, Fort Sumter. Of course, he was captured, and he didn't get to bring our rifles into the South and uh, distribute them to black slaves, but that was his intention. And once uh, black slaves had heard about this, uh, you know, their opinion of the North uh, began to change. They realized that there were plenty of people in the North that, on, uh, in a sense, were on their side, that uh, were in favor of uh, their escape. Now, they looked at Lincoln as sort of a John Brown, a second John Brown, uh, a John Brown with an intellect. In other words, uh, not a, 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 not a, a John Brown uh, exactly, but a new kind of John Brown. But uh, um, So it wasn't uh, Lincoln's election alone. But the combination of uh, the John Brown, um, the John Brown effort to free the slaves, because of John Brown and Abraham Lincoln, the combination, plus the existence of the Underground Railroad, more and more blacks were thinking in terms of escaping to the North. And so the, the, uh, uh, the election of Abraham Lincoln uh, uh, made the southern plantation owners uh, paranoid uh, to the extent, uh, or for the, because of the, uh, the reason being that they feared that blacks would escape en masse, uh, uh, at least, uh, you know, 5 or 10 percent or even 50 percent or more in a single night. And uh, the uh, dog uh, handlers that uh, uh, supposedly would uh, be able to uh, track down the escaped slaves uh, if only a few slaves escaped. These dog handlers uh, were not, there, there, uh, there wasn't enough of them. If the uh, number of uh, escapees uh, you know, uh, uh, became uh, at all uh, um, above uh, more than one or two at a time. The North, uh, 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 the South had never experienced a, a, a massive slave uh, escape effort, a mass rebellion, mass escape. But there was nothing stopping the slaves from... Um, uh, uh, launching this this group effort i'm saying that the south uh, of the southern plantation owners realized that if it happened they were uh they uh, they they would not be able to handle it in other words uh, slavery was a house of cards slavery as an institution seemed impregnable uh, invincible unstoppable in the south but in fact, uh, it was uh, a house of cards if the black slaves ever got it into their head to escape to the north. And so, this is what uh, made the southern uh, leaders, the plantation owners that were the leaders in, in each state, uh, political leaders in each state, they're the ones that pushed for secession as a desperate last-ditch effort to stop the effect of the ele election of Lincoln. It wasn't just that Lincoln could uh, use his position as president uh, 
to influence influence Congress to pass laws uh, outlawing slavery or limiting slavery or uh, changing things like uh, the law against uh, educating black slaves. No, it was something more uh, visceral, more uh, 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 gut level, more uh, grassroots. It was the effect of his election on slaves themselves. It wasn't uh, his effect on Congress. It was his ef effect on slaves themselves. Slaves themselves were not in chains. They, they, they weren't uh, behind walls like uh, uh, pr real prisoners uh, in prisons are behind walls that they cannot climb. The slaves were in a position that, that anybody in a real prison would envy. They were in prisons that were uh, escapable. Uh, the uh, vulnerability of uh, these prisons, these plantations that were actually prisons, is shown by the Nat Turner Rebellion uh, in, in the 18, uh, early 1830s. Nat Turner, I, I should look, I think it was Virginia. He was a, a Virginia slave, if I'm not mistaken. And he uh, was able to uh, rebel and, with uh, his fellow slaves. And they, they um, uh, killed uh, several whites and skinned them. They skinned them because uh, uh, to deprive them of their white skin that... Uh, um, uh, they valued so much. The point was that uh, this rebellion was uh, uh, um, uh, su successful uh, to the extent of the number of uh, white people that were killed, and it just it just showed uh, uh, how how free uh, uh, black slaves were. Um, not free, but uh, free to. Uh, either escape or to uh, turn on their their white uh, masters. Each uh, plantation owner went to sleep at night uh, uh, just a few yards away from black slaves enclosed uh, by walls around their cabins that could be easily uh, climbed over or uh, 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 holes could be dug under the walls and these same black slaves could go to the plantation um, building or mansion and burn it down and massacre their, their white owners. Not that this was uh, at all realistic, but this was the sort of thing that uh, uh, they were vulnerable. These uh, plantation owners were vulnerable to this sort of thing. And they didn't have... Uh, uh, guard towers with uh, uh, guards uh, 24 hours a day or uh, guards at night uh, keeping watch over these uh, these um, uh, uh, cabins where the, where the slaves uh, slept at night. You go to uh, any place where they have uh, re like replicas, replicas of the uh, South, like uh, Williamsburg in Virginia, uh, uh, they don't have, or um, Charlottesville, where they have the uh, plantation of Jefferson, uh, uh, Monticello. They, their, uh, their uh, slave cabins are uh, relatively un, un, um, uninsulated. They're, they're not enclosed by walls that uh, are uh, impregnable. So I emphasize again that uh, these plantations could be escaped from. They, they, they had not been escaped from. That's only because the uh, blacks were kept under uh, uh, a mind control. Their, their minds were controlled, and, uh, but, but this whole system uh, uh, required or uh, counted on uh, things like uh, the president or the government are not uh, 
uh, uh, trying to uh, overthrow the slavery. Uh, because slavery was spreading to the West, that's what got the abolitionists in the North, uh, that's what drove them insane, or that made them uh, 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 come out against uh, uh, the uh, spread of slavery to the West, and they, uh, can't, they decided to uh, 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 oppose slavery even in the South. What makes slavery... American slavery, particularly, uh, particularly shameful. The the idea is that s slaves were uh, uh, prevented from having any education, uh, prevented from learning to read and write. Uh, and uh, the laws uh, in every slave state, there were laws against educating uh, black slaves. And uh, when you consider the fact that uh, America was a Protestant country, uh, 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 more or less, uh, and uh, that the Protestant Reformation is a synonymous with the idea or goal of universal education so that each Christian can read the Bible. Uh, this was like the backbone of the Protestant Reformation. Uh, it's not only that Protestants were against uh, Latin as the uh, language of the Bible. Uh, see, in Catholic countries, only Latin Bibles were uh, published. Any Bible in English, during the time that England was Catholic, any English Bible uh, was against the law. Uh, they were, if they were found, they were burned. If people were uh, caught with uh, English Bibles, they were imprisoned or killed. Uh, the people that, that published uh English Bibles, uh, they were killed. This was uh, the true of uh, any other Catholic country. So that uh, the idea is the Protestants wanted uh, Bibles printed in the vernacular. Oh dear, I can't even think of what to say.
What's going on, buddy? Eat that shit. Go ahead. Oh, uh, you're hungry now. Uh. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> 